Now we are directly moving to essay 16.1, question number one. The question is fill in the blanks. Okay. First question: A cuboid has dash faces. A cuboid, you remember we already discussed this in the introduction um, part. So a cuboid has six faces. Okay. And a cube has dash edges. A cube, how many edges they have? You remember we already discussed these things also in introduction. A cube has twelve edges. Okay. Next, a dash is cuboid in which all edges are equal. That means a cube, the answer is a cube, is a cuboid in which all edges are equal. Now, question number D. All the faces of a cube are dash. All the faces of a cube is congruent. Okay. All the faces of a cube is congruent. And question number 5. You can see the figure. You can see. That means if there is a cuboid, um, we can take the length is 6 and breadth is 2 and height, so sorry, the length is 8 and breadth is 2 and height is 6. Okay, you can see that cuboid in the figure. It's a 16.1, question number E, that page number is 222. Two, two. So there, you have to find out the total surface area. Total surface area, how we can find out? We can find, what's the equation? The equation is 2 into length breadth plus um, length height plus breadth height or anyway you can write length breadth plus breadth height plus length plus you can write no problem so here according to our equation according to our equation so we can give the values in this question already they said what is the value length is 8 that means 2 into 8, breadth is 2, 8 into 2, plus length into height, length is 8, the height is 6, and plus length, breadth into height, 2 into height, how much 8, clear? No, 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 height, how much 6, height is 6, clear? So 2 into 8 into 2, 16, plus 8 into 6, or uh, 48, plus 2 into 6, 12, okay, 8, Centimeter, these are centimeter into centimeter, centimeter square, 8 centimeter into 2 centimeter, centimeter 60 centimeter square, 8 into 6, 48 centimeter square, here 6 into 2 centimeter, 6 centimeter into 2 centimeter, 12 centimeter square. So if you add these three things, then you will get 2 into 14 plus, uh, sorry, 16 plus 48 plus 12, you will get uh, 82. That means 16 plus 12, you will get 28, 28 plus um, 48, 28 plus 48, you will get 76, sorry, 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 76, 76 centimeter square, All right here, 2 into 76 centimeter square, understood, now 2 into 76 centimeter square, you will get 152 centimeter square, so the area, that means total surface area of that figure is 152 centimeter square okay now the next question the lateral surface area of that figure b that's a cylinder you can see that's a it's a uh, figure is cylinder so you have to find out the lateral surface area if you have to find out the lateral surface area you have to understand how we can find out the lateral surface area there is an equation 2 into pi into r into h that means 2 pi r into h that means here 2 into pi value we can take 3.14 here R value is already given this question. It's what is you can see the figure here? The radius is 4 cm and the height is 10 cm. So the radius is 4 cm. I'm writing here for the R means radius into height means 10. Okay, if you will multiply, then you will get 10 into 4, 40, 40 into 2, 80. 80 into 3.14, you will get 5, sorry, 251.8. 2 centimeter square. So the final answer will be 251.2 centimeter square. Now, exercise 16.1, question number 2. So the following word problems. Now, uh, we are going to word problems. Okay, we are going to solve the word problems. The first question is find the total surface area of a closed cardboard box. Of length 30 centimeter, breadth 20 centimeter, and height 15 centimeter. You can see the ball here. Length 30, height 50, and breadth is 20. So it looks like a cuboid. Okay. You have to find out 
the total surface area. So it's already there is a sprinkling closer. That means it's look like a cuboid. So we have to find out the total surface area of a cuboid. So what is given thing here? Here already given what uh, length? Length how much? Thirty centimeter and breadth twenty and height fifteen centimeter. Okay. So, three um, units are given here, the length, breadth and height. So, we have to find out the total surface area. So we already know the total surface area of a cuboid. How we can find out? We can use this equation. What is that? 2 into length into breadth plus breadth into height plus and length, uh, sorry, plus length into breadth. Okay. That means 2 into length into breadth plus breadth into height plus length into height, not breadth, height. Okay. That is the answer okay this this is the equation this is the equation with the help of this equation we are going to find out the total surface area of this cuboid how we can find out total surface area i am going to write tsa okay tsa means total surface area of a cuboid is equal to we know i am already writing the equation here 2 into length breadth that means length into breadth and breadth into height that means bh and length height that means length into height okay Units we can write or square units, okay? Here, 2 into. Now we can give the values. Length is 30 into how much? 20. 30 centimeter to 20 centimeter, clear? Length 30, breadth 20, that's why length is equal to time like that. So, breadth here 20, 20 into height how much? 15, 20 centimeter to 15 centimeter, and plus length. 30 into 15 centimeter. Clear? Hmm? Now, 2 into 30 into 23 into 2, 6, 0, 0, 600. 30 into 20, 600 plus 20 into 15, 15 into 30, 300. Understand? Here, centimeter, 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 centimeter square. Okay, 600 centimeter square. Here, centimeter square, 300 centimeter square. How? 20 centimeter to 50 centimeter, 20 into 30, 15, 300 centimeter to centimeter, centimeter square, plus 30 into 15, 450 centimeter square. There is, um, if you don't want to write centimeter square, you have no problem, but final answer you have to write, mention the centimeter square. Okay. If you are not writing the units, you will not get the full mark. Okay. So you have to write uh, the units also. Now, 2 into 600 plus 300, 600 centimeter square plus 300 centimeter square plus 450 centimeter square. How much will you come? 600 plus 300, 900, 900 plus 400, 1300, 1300 plus 50, 1350. That means 2 into 1350 centimeter square. Clear? Hmm? Now, 2 into 1350, that means 1350, which is equal to 2, 7, 0, 0 centimeter square. 2700 centimeter square. So we got the total surface area of that cuboid is 2700. Now, question number 2. Okay. The question is find the lateral surface area and the total surface area of the following cylinders. Okay, we have to find out the lateral surface area and total surface area of cylinders okay so it's already given what is given here uh, radius radius is 21 centimeter and height is 45 centimeter okay so two things are given here uh, the one is 21 that means r and height also given 45 centimeter we have to find out total surface area and lateral surface area okay so la for lateral surface area, that is, this is a cylinder. In this question, already they said this is a cylinder. So we can use these two equations: cylinder lateral surface area, which is equal to two into pi into r. That means two pi r into h. Same time, total surface area two into pi into r. That means two pi r into r plus h. R means radius and it means height. Okay. So here already the values are here. Then we can apply. Uh, the values here. First, first we can find out the lateral surface area. Okay, lateral surface area. Lateral surface area. Let's see. Okay, 
सो इक्वेशन इज टू इंटू पाई इंटू हा दैट मीन्स टू पाई इंटू एच ओके एच सो टू इंटू पाई वैल्यू वी कैन टेक हियर ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन और थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर हियर वी आर चूसिंग ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन ओके आर वैल्यू ट्वेंटी वन हियर रेडियस इज ऑल रेडी वन ट्वेंटी वन क्लियर इंटू एच फोर्टी फाइव clear we are giving the values what is this much r value is 21 that's why we are writing here and uh, h value is 45 the same value we already wrote here hmm? now we can put the 7 and this 21 we will get 3 so the remaining thing 2 into 22 into 3 into 45 okay here 21 cm cm is there and 45 cm is there other thing there is no cm so cm into cm Okay, we are right here. Three means three centimeter and forty-five means forty-five centimeter. So if you will multiply these whole things, that means two into twenty-two into three centimeter into forty-five centimeter, you will get two into um, two in two into twenty-two. That means you will get forty-four. Forty-four into uh, three, forty-four into forty-five into three. Okay, this two into twenty-two into three into forty-five, you will get. Five nine four zero centimeter square. Here three into Three centimeters there, forty-five centimeters there. So centimeter to centimeter, centimeter square. Clear? So the lateral surface area is five thousand nine hundred forty centimeter. Clear? Now we can find out the total surface area. T S A. That means total surface area. Total surface area we can uh, find with the help of we can find that we can find that one with the help of our equation. What is that? Two pi r into r plus h. So I am writing the equation here. 2 pi r into r plus h. If you, if you are not writing this in also no problem, okay. So I'm writing this one. So 2 pi r. 2 pi r already we said 2 into pi value 22 by 7 into r value 21. Understood? Into the bracket I'm opening here again. R plus h. R 21 plus h 45. Clear? So this seven and this twenty one we can cut. It will get three. So here three centimeter, and here twenty one plus forty five. Hmm? Now two into twenty two into three into three. The right means into twenty one plus forty five. That means sixty six centimeter. Twenty one centimeter plus forty five centimeter. You will get sixty six centimeter. Here also three means three centimeter. Here also. 21 is there. 21 centimeter. R is 21 centimeter. So 21 centimeter clear. So the remaining 3 centimeter into 66 centimeter. If you will multiply, then you will get uh, 2 into 22, 44 into 3 centimeter into 66 centimeter. The final answer will be 8, 7, 1. Two centimeter square, centimeter to centimeter, centimeter square. So we got the lateral surface area and total surface area. Total surface area eight thousand seven hundred twelve and centimeter square, and lateral surface area five thousand nine hundred forty centimeter square. Now question number C. The question is: A swimming pool has the dimensions of thirty meter, twenty five meter, and twelve meter. Okay. Find the total. Find the cost of cementing its floor and walls. At the rate of thirty-two per square meter. So we have the uh, swimming pool. I'm just drawing the swimming pool. You just imagine this is a swimming pool. So you can see uh, it's look like a cubo, uh, cuboid. Okay, there is length is there, breadth is there, and height is there. Clear? So what do you have to do? We have to uh, cement this floor and one, two, three, four. This four sides. Clear? For one square meter, if you want to uh, cement, if you want to put the cement to the floor, how much we have to pay? Thirty-two rupees. Okay, that means the cost of cementing, the cost of cementing the floor and the sides hmm, for one square meter, we have to pay thirty-two rupees. Okay, so uh, I will explain uh, uh, with the help of this uh, uh, this thing. Okay, you just you can see this is a. Uh, Look like a cuboid. It's not exactly cuboid. It looks like cuboid. Okay, you just imagine this is a swimming pool. Okay, so you can see the bottom, the backside. So that means the down part. Okay, that means the floor. This is the floor. Okay, and these are the side parts. Clear? So 
to point how many faces are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 faces are there. That means 1, the down one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 faces are there. But here we have to cement where only 5 faces. We don't want to cement the top. And in swimming pool, there is no top. Okay. That means we, we don't want to put the cement here. We have to cement down. That means the floor and the sides. That means 1, 2, 3, 4 sides. Clear? So what do you have to find out? Uh, we have to find out the lateral surface area of that keyboard. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 sides area we have to find out. And one more thing. This down part also we have to find out. That means this down part area also we have to find out. So lateral surface area plus this down part area. Then we will get 5 sides total area. That 5 sides into 32 you will get the total cost clear so uh, according to your question you can see there is one floor is there and four sides are there we don't want to put cement on the top we have to put the cement the floor clear floor and four sides that means one two three four sides clear so we have to find out the total not sorry lateral surface area of that cuboid and area of that down part all right that means the floor then we have to add these two things then we will get the total um, area we uh, total area of five sides clear we will do that one so first of all we can find out the lateral surface area of that uh, lateral surface area of what the swimming pool that means the top we are avoiding the top and we are avoiding what we are avoiding the floor clear here of Sorry, lateral surface area of this cuboid. How we can find out lateral surface area of cuboid which is equal to 2 into height into r plus that means length plus breadth or r length plus breadth. So we can put the values here 2. What do you mean 2 here? 2. We can write like that. Height how much? Height 12. So 2 into 12. Sorry, sorry. 2 into 12. And length plus uh, length plus breadth. Length how much? 30. Plus breadth how much? 25. Clear? Yeah. The rest of them I will write here. 2 into 12. That means you will get 24 into 30. Uh, how much you will get? 30. Plus 25 you will get 55. 30 plus 25? 55. 24 into 55 you will get 1300. 20, we will multiply 24 into 55 into 20, 1320, okay, 1320, you will get 1320, now, so we got the square centimeters, oh yeah. we got lateral surface area, now, what we have to find out, we have to find out the down part, that means floor area, floor look like a rectangle, you can see, floor look like a rectangle, so how we can find out this floor area, length into breadth so floor area which is equal to it's look like a rectangle so length into breadth will be area of this floor so length is here 30 and breadth is here 12 sorry breadth is here 25 25 30 into 25 25 into 3 75 so 70, 750 centimeter square. Now we got the down part that means floor area is 750 and the side area is 1320. 1320 clear. How much we got? Uh, the down part that means the floor area is 750 centimeter square and the sides total area is 1320. So five sides area that means total. That means, okay, five sides, we will write five sides area, which is equal to 1320 plus 750. How much will, will be? Zero, seven, zero, seven plus three, ten, and two. 2,070, how much? 2,070 centimeter square total is 2070 centimeter square so 
five sides area of this swimming pool. We don't want the top, okay? We don't want the top. That's why we are avoiding the top. Five sides area, which is equal to 20, 2070. Okay? You can find this answer in another way also. I will explain in this way. Okay? So, the total five sides area, 2070. Clear? Now, 2070 for centimeter square is a total area for one square meter we have to pay 30 ru 32 rupees if you have to cement one square meter then you have to pay 32 rupees okay now we have 2070 centimeter square how much we have 2070 centimeter square for one meter we have to pay 32 that means 2070 meter you have to pay 2070 into 32 then you will get we can multiply here 2070 into 32 that means 0, 4, so 1 and 4. Okay, 0, 21, 2, 6, 0, 4, 2, 6, 6, double 6, 240 that means 66,240 uh, rupees you have to pay for cementing this swimming pool clear now fourth question fourth question is how much gift wrap is needed to cover a box which measures three meter diameter three meter by two meter by three meter that means uh, there's a cuboid it's a cuboid here so we can understand this is a cuboid um, we have to cover what that means if there's a cuboid is there you have to cover the uh, wrap paper that means gift wrapper with the help of gift wrap, wrap paper you have to cover this full cuboid okay the dimensions are already given that means we can take that one first one is length how much three and breadth how much two and height how much three meter the question is how much gift wrap, uh, wrap paper is needed for covering that uh, gift okay you have to imagine that the cuboid is there okay three dimension high length breadth length is there breadth is there and height is there so we have to cover the full side that means we have to cover six phases that means total surface area we have to find out the total surface area then we will get how much wrap paper we needed okay so their length is already given what is that three breadth is two and height is three meter so <coughs> and find out the total surface area how we can find out Total surface area which is equal to 2 into length breadth plus breadth, uh, breadth height plus and length height. Okay. So according to this equation 2 into length breadth how much length into breadth 3 into 2. 3 into 2 plus breadth into height. Breadth 2 into 3. Sorry. Breadth uh, yeah, height is 3. 2 into 3. Okay. Plus next length into height. Length how much 3. 3 into Height how much? 3. Okay. Meters. Okay. Everything meters. And it's 2 into 3 meter into 2 meter you will get 6 meter plus 2 meter into 3 meter you will get 6 meter plus 3 meter into 3 meter you will get 9 meter. Clear? Now 2 into 6 plus 6 plus 9 that means 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 9 21 21 meter. 3 into 2, meter into meter, meter square, okay, meter square, everything is meter square. How? 3 meter into 2 meter, 3 into 2, 6, meter into meter, meter square, same way here also, okay. So, 6 meter plus, 6 meter plus, 9 meter, which is equal uh, meter square, which is equal to 21 meter square. Here, 6 meter square plus, 6 meter square plus, 9 meter square. Then you will get 21 meter square, 21 meter square into 2, 42 meter square. We need 42 meter square wrap paper for cover the gift. Clear? Yeah.